Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a cool nail art idea. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. So re recently I've just been trying to find new ways to be creative. And one of those ways that I've really been into lately is nail art. Um, so adding like different uh, gemstones and things to my nails or just painting them different colors, trying matte, trying shiny, um, all kinds of things. And so here's a few things I've tried. Um, I will say that um, there's a little bit of a learning curve <laughs> when it comes to rhinestones. Um, but I bought these, you can buy these, uh, you can find them online. I actually bought these at Hobby Lobby, um, these uh, Swarovski crystals. Crystals, Swarovski crystals. <laughs> I actually bought these Swarovski crystals at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have a really great selection actually, but you can find all kinds of crystals online. Um, Amazon has a bunch. Um, so yeah, so. So I used two colors for this nail look. I used this wine nail polish, which is great for fall. Of course I had to add some sparkle with this nice Cuccio sparkly um, nail polish and then a matte top coat and I really liked how the end result uh, looked it was very uh, very pretty very festive very fall so of course on top of the matte nails I decided to add a few crystals just to see what it was like and the first time I tried it I used a top coat just to secure the crystals so adding little dots of top coat being careful not to make too much of a gooey mess um, because you want to keep the matte top coat as clean as possible and just add the right amount just to secure the crystals so this worked out really well in terms of they stayed all day um, they however did not make it through my workout the next day <laughs> and so that led me to find an alternative method uh, for securing the nail crystals which led me to nail glue So take two, I decided to try nail glue and I used the, the KISS, like maximum three seconds, I think it's called, nail glue that just comes in a little bottle. You can find it at CVS, you can find it at HEB, you can find it at anywhere, probably any drugstore or grocery store. Um, it was really, it was pretty easy to use, but I think next time, instead of trying to go directly from the bottle, like you see me here doing, I would use a toothpick or some kind of um, utensil just to be able to, to um, put little dollops, um, small little drops of nail glue, uh, on, especially on the matte nails, because um, again, you don't want it to go everywhere, just like the top coat, because it's going to leave um, a film and you'll be able to see it. Um, so I was trying to be careful. Um, again, this was my first try. <laughs> so, so it was, uh, you know, it was, I, I tried my best, um, but I think in the end it worked out really well. Um, this, this nail glue, it didn't, uh, or it, I think it says it cures in three seconds. Um, so it was enough time to, for me to be able to put the crystals on there, but not too much time to where I felt like, you know, I had to really sit there and let it dry for forever. Um, the other thing I really liked about the the nail glue was, you know, just the ease of use. I mean, it's it's practically like top coat, so um, so that was really easy. And you can find this everywhere. Um, again, I, I think next time I would use a um, toothpick or some kind of utensil because it was really hard to control the bottle. Like I felt like I was squeezing, having to squeeze really hard, but nothing. But I didn't want to squeeze too hard to where the whole thing came out on top of my nail. Um, but so next time this was good practice since again, it was like my first time doing this. Um, it was an adventure for sure. And I decided to go with the nail glue, um, because these are my natural nails and I wanted something that was sticky, but not too super sticky. Um, when I was researching different products to attach crystals and other things to your nails, I found a lot of um, UV cure type resins or glues that you can that you can buy, which I'm sure work um, beautifully on acrylic nails. But again, since these are my natural nails, I just wanted something that would stick, but not do be super, super sticky um, to where I couldn't get them off. Um, I also like to change up my nail look pretty frequently. <laughs> so I wanted something that would last but not take forever to take off. 
So once my nails were done, of course I had to put it to the workout test. So I did some lifting the next day um, and as well as some boxing. So I was super excited because I had boxing gloves on and the first time it didn't last at all. This time it worked really well. So I just finished my workout. So today was a mix of weight training and some boxing that I just completed. And all my little sparkles are still there. <laughs> so I am super excited about that. The first time I did this, uh, they pretty much popped off. <laughs> the, uh, just uh, it, during the night, let alone not making it through a, an entire workout. So this time I made it through two workouts so far. Um, check me out on Instagram to see how it's going. But I am um, super excited that I found a way for this to actually stick. Shouldn't be surprised, nail glue does it. But I am happy that I don't have to use any of those crazy resins with the UV light because I really just don't want to do that. So, uh, so there you go. Sparkle for days through the workout. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to be kind to those around you, but especially be kind to yourself. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.